or UI here. What we are interested in is about using core UI React template. So here we have React template. We will go here. You could see that you can buy the uh, pro version of core UI, but our target is to use the uh, open source version, which we going to look into. And here is the core UI open source at GitHub. Here is the GitHub. You could see that how popular it is and how useful it is for others. We are going to take the URL. We are going to clone it, git clone. And here we are cloning the React template for core UI. Here you could see that we have the React template. And here you could see we are in, but what we could do, we could say npm install. What npm install will do, it will take few uh, seconds to minute depending on how many packages you have defined in your package.json and what it's really trying to do is that it is downloading all those necessary packages which are defined in package.json which are required to run this uh, react template Okay, now if we run the command, you could see that there is a folder called node modules, which is added. And all those packages and their dependencies requ required to make this uh, project work, all copied over there. So when you are creating the uh, GitHub project, you really do not need to share this project because these are the binaries which are required for running. So once you got that thing running, in order to run this a template, you need to run the command npm run start. And what you will see is that the npm web server is really going to launch the website at uh, port uh, 3000 at your local host. So it's using a node uh, development server. And there you go. So that's all it really needed. It really shows that website is running on a port 3000. Now let's look into the code. And that is your navigational menu. This navigational menu is really controlled by this underscore nav.js. So here you could see that these are the many options are available. How these routes are really defined, they are defined in a file called routes.js. So all those components which are really defined and here are the routes for those components which are defined. So mostly if you are working, you will be using routes.js to update your routes. Then you will be working on underscore nav.js. If you would like to update the menu options, you are going to um, it here and finally if you are going to change anything which will be part of your uh, header uh, or footer as well as the layout and if you want to disable the aside that's why you are really going to dashboard so here is our dashboard here you could see the dashboard components let's dig into where the dashboard is so if we go look into the views within the views you will see there is a folder called dashboard and here is the dashboard.js so dashboard.js is really defined here. Here you could see the dashboard.js. And if you really say, okay, let's try to add something to uh, in this dashboard, what we will do, we will we have opened the dashboard.js. If we double click on it, it will become the edit, edit mode. If we just click on single, then it became just the view file mode. So that's kind of a, a Visual Studio code. So we will come back to dashboard. Here you will see that where the render function is start, that's where the render render starts and here is a row what we will do we will add a row we will just do call and we will just define a full size column and here we will just say h3 okay and we will say we are here okay let's run it now we come back to here you could see the code is really being compiled in real time and we can go back to website and you will see that we are here to clean this ui what we have to make few changes so we will come back to navigate to navigational where the menu is created and here you could see that all those menu options are available so just to show you that in the left side you have these buttons available what you could do if you want to hide them you can hide this okay within the visual studio code you will see the code was compiled here and very quickly that menu 
options were removed here you could see that's how this ui really look like now what we need to do we need to disable these all things so we will come back here and here you could see that there is the extra options which really talks about these pages so what this is a divider you can look into very quickly here the extra is a considered as a divider here so this is the extra divider okay so what we will do we will lock this okay and this so now we have you could see that disable menu is there now we could block this whole thing all the way for example so let's come back here here you could see that we are looking into the components okay and from components all the way to notifications and visits and let's block this looks like there is no error now you would see that so components and now we will theme okay now we have these dividers plus uh, definitions of these sections and then here we have dashboard now if you see that there is dashboard only available now what we really need is that we need to add uh, our own dashboard so we just call it for example a starter a starter page okay so we need to build a starter thing so what we will do rather than coming to dashboard here in the views folder we will create our own folder called a starter okay within the starter now we will create uh, our javascript file if we call it a starter tar dot js so this is something starter dot js we have and very quickly we have two way to either write everything from scratch and we can look into the how the dashboard dot js is really created and very quickly we can just take certain things what we are really interested into so we will look into these are the main components we really needed so i'm just trying to show you here and then rather than all of this we don't we are not interested in j here uh, the chart components we are also not interested in anything here so we will actually use okay cards we are interested in cards maybe we really do not need this row column or maybe we are not interested in table so we have this now we can we have defined the imports we really needed very quickly we will come back to where the render really starts so here is the definition of dashboard so what we will do very quickly we will take from here to this okay and very quickly we will come back at the very bottom where we have definition of our component and and remember we have took the div because we have copied the div here and there you go and now we really do not need any of this code okay now we really do not need any of this any of this okay our dashboard which is basically a, a starter i'm sorry there you go that's our starter component and because this is our class and is returning a starter so that's where it is we haven't defined uh, anything here and we just call it right now a starter once we have this thing now our starter component is really ready now we really need to define first route and then we need to add into the menu so we will go to routes here you could see that all those definitions of routes defined so we will look into that okay because right now we only have dashboard so you see we only have the dashboard here we will keep the dashboard on the top and we will hide everything same thing here we will besides the dashboard we will hide everything and so far you will see that your code is working and there are no errors we have them okay so we have hide this whole thing you can remove this just to make everything simple and then easy to manage with it okay now what we are doing is that we are just creating a starter a starter and which is available into the starter folder and for the link we are saying that that is actually our starter component and which is using this starter and here we will say 
starter dashboard so that's the starter component which is defined and which has a route set as a whatever root and a starter okay now we come back to our uh, navi navigational place and then we will try to add something a new component okay what is this this is a starter and remember what we are doing is that we are taking a starter from here so this is starter okay here if we, we want to really show any of icon you can look into the core ui definition where they have really defined icons here very nicely so we can look into that and here you could see if, the, you, if you make any mistake your compiler will generate that where the mistakes are so we could really fix it okay now we can come back here so we have a starter we will just leave it that is we actually do not need to show the badge we have we have this and now we can look into the okay component is starter we have a starter and again remember the, the definition is that because we are not defining the package right now that or oh, there is a in this scenario you could see there is a dashboard and then there is a package and here you see that we haven't defined the package right now so there is two options we can actually create a package.json and then we can define it then we do not need to uh, share that way or we have another option is that we can say why don't you can call a starter dot js okay once you say that way it will get the definition for that now you see there is no error there is no error and you have a starter here and when you click on a starter your starter is really being called so it's very quickly we have added our starter page now you could say okay you really do not need a dashboard you can come back here you can hide the dashboard and we can come back here there is a starter a starter dashboard which is defined as in your here this is the definition call a starter dashboard call as a starter so this is a starter okay your route here is the definition here is a starter so very quickly we have ripped the code and if we do and uh, we made it really very simple now we really need to remove a bunch of these things because we are not interested so same thing here we will try to clean this whole thing and we will make it something where we do not really need these these links to so i will show you very quickly let's go back to layout here you could see the header you have to be really a little careful because this is the toggler so when you are seeing this component how really view it so that's where and then if you do not want to see any of this what you really needed is that there is a navigation block so you take this whole navigation and you can say i would like to block this once you block it you come back your whole navigation is gone now you really need to fix these guys so here you could see that there is a navigation if you uh, because this whole thing is really adjusted you know and here is these dashboard users and settings so here is the dashboards users and setting so we are not really interested we can say okay can we hide them one way and in order to block this thing i will show you a little you can still keep those navigational blocks and then you can block this area now you will see that based on the css created for that that is really available now what happens is that this is available all those icons are gone and if whenever you need you can really invoke them so by changing the code you also have this thing available so here is you still have and right now your starter is that now if you see that this is your starter everything is very much clean if you want to change this footer you can come back to the footer and you come here you can say what you want to say you can say uh, a starter apps okay you can say powered by starter engine and here you could really change the you know starter.com you know something very quickly have this now you could see there you go after we have made changes to our footer content we could see that our footer content is updated now what we will do is that we will try to set the footer fixed so it's always available uh, within within our uh, web page as it really look like something here so we will come back to 
index.html here you could see that the, there are various parameters available for a set so you have a class and we can say uh, which is an app and then we can say footer fixed that's the property we would like to see here and we will try to go into the dashboard and just uh, now you could see here that even when we are really scrolling the layout content uh, center page content is still our footer is as you see that when we started core ui it was running on 3000 sometime you might really need to change that uh, port and to change it something really very simple you look into a, a file called env here you could see that it's defined as 3000 so for example if you want to run it 3333 you save it you go back to your command line restart it now you will see that the previous one is no longer running and now the server is really starting at 3333 port and once everything is ready there you go your page is ready at 333 see here our dashboard is our starting point we want to set the starter as our dashboard our our entry point what we are digging into is that okay where is the page which really loads up the default uh, uh, dashboard so here you could see that when we are looking into the default layout default layout we need to see okay where it's really trying to load the dashboard so here you could see it's really calling the dashboard so in order to change this to from dashboard to starter we will just come back here and we will look into the starter we close it let me close it i think it should be okay and now let's, let's okay go ahead start again starting and after we made changes within the default layout to start with a starter rather than dashboard and here you see we have started from a starter so one thing i just would like to finish clean this whole area and then make it really very simple so we could reuse it in future so we can go back to default a side here you could see these are the different sections so here are the three tabs what you you are seeing here a one two three here is the content within it so this is a tab pan one content we will go there this is one this is two and we will try to remove this guy too here this is three and tab and tab content sorry i think i should not remove there you go and here you could say you can say tab three tab two tab one so we have cleaned that as well now if you look into our tabs they are really very clean so we could use them here is a whole starter kit everything I, I have added these so if you are not interested in that we can go ahead and we can remove them so we are not interested in this let's make that clean as well clean clean we're not really interested in this okay and then what i have done is that uh, we have divider and then here is a theme i kept it so here and then i can go ahead and i can block this so now you have a starter and here if, you know if you are not i just kept it disabled in case you would love to keep it and here you do thanks